this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on our Pro Tools video tutorials. So today we're going to learn about the track freeze option included in Pro Tools. This is another way to, or another method that you would need to use in order to share your Pro Tools sessions. Now, this is useful if you are looking to share your Pro Tools sessions with another Pro Tools user that doesn't have your plugins. That's number one. And then number two, it's also useful when you have several plugins in your session and you're trying to save um, uh, horsepower of your computer. You're trying to reduce the CPU usage. Uh, you might want to freeze your plugins or your tracks. So um, as the name says, freeze. You know, when you freeze, what you do is that you basically render the effect of a certain plugin uh, in the track, and it's almost like it renders it on the background, and then it'll stop processing it every time you press play. Because typically, the way it works, like right now, I have this Pro EQ3, right? Um, doing that, if I bypass it, and if I turn it on. So basically, what happens here, when I press play, this audio, this audio file passes through this EQ, and then comes out and you can hear it. Now this happens in real time. Now if I freeze it, what it does is that on the back, it'll basically render this so that instead of passing through the EQ, it just plays back whatever was rendered. Now, the cool thing about this is that you don't have to pass through this, in this case it's 320 samples of uh, compensation, because that's what this plugin adds in this uh, special configuration, 320 samples. Um, it'll be zero because it'll be rendered, okay? Now, the other cool thing about track freeze, when you freeze um, an insert or track, you can share this session with someone that has Pro Tools, but that doesn't have the plugin. So I could freeze this and then send the session to a friend of mine. He'll be able to, he or she will be able to listen to it with the effect of the plugin, but they won't be able to tweak it because when it's frozen, it's frozen. It's almost like it's rendered, now, the cool thing about track freeze is that you know you can always unfreeze it. And if I'm the one unfreezing it, I can basically go and retweak the plugin and then freeze it back. Now, if I send something that has been frozen to a friend of mine that doesn't have this plugin, if they unfreeze it, it's gone. It's back to how it was originally, and they won't be able to tweak it because they don't have the plugin. But at least I can share it with them. So how do you do it? Very simple. You go here in the plugin, you right click on it, and it says freeze up to this insert. So when I click on that, you see it's rendering it. So now you can see the plugin is grayed out. If I click on it, it says plugin frozen. I can't mess with it, I can't tweak it. And you can see the track appears to be um, grayed out. I can't even move it. Like if I click on it and I try to drag it, I can't. It's frozen in that place. If I press play. <laughs> you can hear the effect of the plugin um, as part of the track. Now, um, cool thing about this, now if I go into my mix window, you can see there's no delay compensation because th whatever happened to it has been frozen. So if I send this to my friend, my friend will be able to open my session, play back and listen to this exactly as it is right now, but if they try to unfreeze it, they won't be able to open the plugin to retweak. So it's almost like it'll be gone. Now, if I want to unfreeze it, I can just click, right click on it. Sorry, where you, you see this little logo here? You click on that and then you can unfreeze. Sorry, right click on the, on the name of the track. Right click on the name of the track, unfreeze. And it's back to how it was, the original audio file. You can move it if you want, you can access the plugin and you can see there is compensation there. Um, the little icon that I, I was talking to you about is when you freeze it, you see a little thing there? That means that's been frozen. It looks like a little, um, like a little piece of snow kind of thing, you know? Um, telling you that it's been frozen. But when it's not, it just looks like that. So that is track freeze in Pro Tools. Um, if you have a situation like I had last week, I was mixing a song, I had several tracks. 
something like 180 tracks or something like that, my computer was like my CPU usage was like 80%, 85%, something like that. And the session was getting a little slow. So I went ahead and things that I knew I wasn't going to tweak anymore, I started freezing them. Like, you know, I had like four or five plugins. I knew that the very first one I wasn't going to tweak anymore because I was pretty sure of what that plugin was doing. So I just went ahead and started freezing things out, reducing the amount of delay compensation on every single track. And that ended up in reducing my CPU usage also. So that's another use for this. So that's track, track Freezing Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we will be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.